Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good. This is a video of transformation from this to this. So let's see how it is done. This is the old system with 700 watt and then you see this is not a modular and the graphic card uh, very old the CPU ha huh, it's quite dirty and this is a 6th gen CPU I'm going to upgrade it to uh, 14 gen this is uh, DDR4 it's pretty old by now and we are going to replace with DDR5 and no ARGB here ah uh, just boring and this is CPU cooling fan we are going to use AIO that is all-in-one uh, cooler so let's start this is the Lianli O11 Vision and it's a PCMR I think this is kind of collaboration it is really really heavy guys when you unbox you get this so it's kind of very you know glossy and you just have the strong glasses and it does have a magnetic uh, magnet here to make this you know video shorter I have at most of the wiring here the SATA cable the PSU this is from the old system and uh, what else we have the uh, ARGB lighting and it's really really messy don't worry guys I'm gonna fix it very soon and one of the best thing I liked about the radiator so it's pretty huge maybe I can explain it in a short let's start with the motherboard Velocita from ASRock Z690 right now there is a discount because uh, the newer version 790 is out so they would like to do a clearance sale so if it is available in your country or wherever you are if you get it a discount just get it you won't regret this is one of the best it support the uh, the latest socket from Intel and AMD as you can see from here PCIe 5 is there um, DDR5 support Wi-Fi 6 and USB 3.2 LGA 1700 and if possible if you get this I mean in a cheap price just buy it you don't have to spend uh, 790 motherboard which are quite expensive now and you don't get all the features that you look for uh, it's, it's, it's a hefty price and as for the CPU cooler, this thing, Asus ROG Strict LC360 liquid cooler. This is AIO, all-in-one cooling solution. But I didn't go for ARGB because I already have separate ARGB here, right here. Same from, uh, this is also from Asus. I don't want to have lots of reflection from here. I'll be sitting on the right, so... I try to mini make it a minimalistic design because I already have the ARGB here and then I have in my graphic card and I have here and I also have in here and I have here and I have one two three so I kind of um, don't go for this on top of that I also have the ARGB from the RAM so a lot of ARGB let's talk about what we need so I think you need your screwdrivers and stuff just in case because I'm working with my old system this is the SSD M.2 slot for 2TB from uh, XPZ and RAM is also 32 gig from uh, XPZ again and this is a uh, 6000 mega transfer per second and it also uh, this is uh, ARGB I'm using the Aura Sync right now, 7400, 6800, really really good for the price. And then I'm going for i5, 14 gen, and I'm going for 14600K. So the reason I'm going for this, some story, um, I was using very old system, this probably 6 gen i5, and then I'm upgrading to, right now is 14 gen, and the K version is I'm doing kind of rendering video editing. So 
I need the care version. It has the inbuilt graphic. And the motherboard has the inbuilt graphic. So it kind of worked out. Even if you don't have a dedicated graphic card like this. This is from Palit. This is for... I bought this, I think, a couple of maybe a year ago, a couple of year ago. Just uh, run your daily stuff, um, play game, editing 4K should be very smooth. If you're going for i7, i9, remember um, the prices may be high and then you need to also buy expensive PSU power supply unit in order to support those power because I don't want to spend a lot of money and I don't want to waste uh, power consumption because I'm not doing anything heavy I'm just going for i5 that should be sufficient for my daily needs I have very old hard drive 1TB and this is 4TB and if you have any old hard drive maybe if possible try to copy to one of them and try to use the largest one it is advised to not connect your M.2 SSD and have lots of hard disk drive because the, 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 the way the hard drive work is they have a spinning and uh, they consume power also the way it works is completely different from the M.2 the SSDs the new one so if you're going for like the M.2 like this and if you are looking for speed my suggestion is don't 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 attach this thing try to try try to use the m.2 but if you are just casually using it maybe you can use this for your operating system maybe c drive and then this would be slower maybe you can just use in your other drive i think most of the time i spend is on trying to figure out where i have to put all the connections this was really time consuming so to make it short if you are building assembling your pc i think reading the manual is the first thing you have to do and then there should be some kind of uh, indication it should be written somewhere here example the fan panel let me see that is the audio behind the other the audio there should be another one behind there so similarly, you can see from other places, VRM fan. So that's where you put the VRM fan. Your motherboard power supply should be this cable. Normally, it never changes. It's been always this, this type of pin front end panel where you have your um, USB 3.2, uh, stuff like that. Your M.2 slot, you can either use this, this, this. But uh, for your SSD, uh, the preference is always on the top one number one and if you, for your graphic card one slot uh, one slot two slot and three slot i can use any of these but um, i called actually there is a pci LAN here another pci LAN here according to the documents it is recommended to use this one first but in my case if i put it here it is going to block the beautiful uh, LED and the light lighting. So what I'm going to do is I will put in this slot. So I've already opened this case. So I'm going to put it here and then let's see how it goes. The airflow, the way I design is this one should be the exhaust fan. The air will be uh, absorbed from here. There's a filter actually here. This is the filter. The air will be observed from here, then um, it will be pushed upward. I have my GPU here graphic and the graphic would have its own three mini fan that would observe and then exhaust on the other side. And then the CPU already have the cooler, which is uh, observing the hot air from around here. And then it will throw out at the back. So whatever is left on the left hand side would be again absorb and throw out by this other small fan so that is how i design my airflow this is a piece of iron man wi-fi 6 it's quite interesting the design and i have been using for quite some time and it is very stable and very strong the signal is quite strong so i'm gonna speed up and start fixing all the cable first then let's continue well for those who have the pcie cable to connect to your GPU maybe you have 16 like mine 
and your cable may be like it have um, this extended version from here to here and when you connect here and then use the other one here it kind of look very weird you know you have um, a bump coming up here it look very shabby so what I did is I just tied a knot here to hide the extended one and I used two of the cable so it looks like it will look better maybe these tips can help you after struggling for so long finally the cable management is done this is the most tough part I mean like you have to ensure you know it is not so congested the GPU it looks better than before holy moly it's done look at that neat and beauty oh my god we are in our final stage and i have already assembled everything i fixed but this glass is really really glossy i just connected the power supply let's go ahead and power on so it's start that's how it looks guys we have finally succeed but it is too glossy I have actually connected to uh, HDMI to another monitor and it seems to be working fine. This is the thumb drive latest one. It should have about 400 Mbps uh, transfer rate. That's what it says in the paper. So I am going to test the front panel and then we'll see if the system can detect if it can detect then everything is fine if it cannot detect maybe i miss something the old one let's try with this port let's see so it works and try the other side type c that is awesome <laughs> to test the sound what i did is i connected from this sony speaker uh, directly to here and change to real tech that should be the speaker we can test for the next step we will see if we can detect any issue this is our motherboard everything seems to be normal the fans are working fine let's check the CPU we should have about 20 threads open the task manager go to performance go to cpu we have the logical processor 20 core go to manage this manager overall i think okay let's run this command click on the first display and it should show you your graphic card vram is the dedicated one that is what i'm looking for 10 gb that is fine so far okay so we are good with the graphic as you can see here the gpu fan it seems to be not um, not spinning so we need to check out if the fan has an issue or is it just sitting idle so to check this what i'm going to do is i will convert some of the video file and force the gpu to uh, do some kind of rendering that way we will understand I'm going to convert it to mp4 and you, as you can see in the queue there are two uh, video file and let's kick start the encoder is fully 100% but it's still not moving finally it is moving the idling of your GPU fan is normal so Hands proof. GPU have started. Let's go explore while we wait. For the GPU, seems to be we are on the top. 
CPU multi core, we are on the fourth place. Change to single core, we are down 61. That's that's really bad. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy watching this. And last thing that this graphic card, ah, the way it is mounted, it looks so silly because it cannot show the beauty of it. So what I will do is I will get a vertical mount that will slice down from there and it will be mounted this way so the front end the three wheel which are the three fan will be facing the outward then the appearance would be very good so that is what is pending that's all for today you guys have a good day enjoy